Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? Well, welcome, welcome to Sofia Ventura Gallery. Today is a special day. We are going to learn our virtual gallery. And um, I think it would be great to have like three artists today. Renata from where, Lois? Uh, Renata from Austria. Uh, Sylvain from Canada and Giovanni Alio from, we didn't put the name Italy. of his city. Italy. Italy. Was, yeah, we have three different artists, you know, we were supposed to have Juca, uh, Juca, I don't know, we have some problems. Technical but, uh, problems. Maybe he can come later. But uh, thank you very much for everybody to be here, okay? Then uh, I would like to know something about Giovanni. Come stai? Ah, sto bene, grazie. Voi come state? Pode fare una fare... sì, introduzione? Sì. Sto bene, voi state bene? Grazie, io sto bene. E non vi sento neanche. In questo momento non sento niente. Erika, can you put the movie we have? We have a short movie. Welcome to our dynamic virtual interactive platform, Sofia and Ventura Gallery. As the world challenges the coronavirus crisis, New York is maintaining strong and sufficient. From having a history of ongoing changes, ongoing changes. changes dedicated to growing. At the start of this year, we were ambitious for new focuses in the art world and new approaches to medium. In the ever-growing art market, digitalization and virtual technology bring us closer to viewing the artist, their works, and the curatorial analysis of the exhibition. First on our tour is Alessandra Garcia. A traveler at heart, her photographs capture the power of culture and the natural landscape where the artist has journeyed. Next up is Aguinaldo de Paula, an artist well-versed in engineering and architecture. Among his photographs is The Vessel in New York City, which de Paula captured at its first unveiling in March of 2019. Following is Austrian painter Renata Protasov, Admiring the early moderns, Protasov engages the audience with her figurative nude paintings, calling into perspective the human body. This series here focuses on the beauty of the human figure. Next on our tour is Titi Garelli. Based in Turin, Titi's signature female figures has won great acclaim in public and in private collections. China Red Queen and Golden Apple have been highly praised by connoisseurs and visitors alike. Depicts her figures in a contemporary and surrealist approach, emphasizing both color and form. Patrick Foray, based in London, has both challenged and captivated his audience with his illustrious subjects, ranging from Homeric myths to current events. While in his own tradition, Shuka Maximo, an artist exploring the relationship between portraiture and colors, creates his own interpretation of the modern portrait. While Giovanni Alio, based in Messina, focuses on a gentle and minimalist depiction of trees and abstract shapes. Finally, Sylvain Boisjoli meticulously integrates his colors, evoking both harmony and curiosity. Thank you for having visited Sofia Ventura Gallery virtual exhibition. The artworks are available on our website at www.safiraventura.com. Okay, that was our announcement. Now we need to hear your announcement. My name is Sylvain Boisjoli. I live in uh, Montreal, Canada. Uh, I'm doing uh, paint uh, since uh, 2015. I'm doing uh, abstract artworks uh, with uh, acrylic on uh, Canva. Uh, according to my uh, emotions and my uh, sentiments. So uh, uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't make a long time. Uh, Giovanni, can you tell us about uh, your life uh, during the pandemic in Italy? Posso dirti che durante la pandemia io ho dipinto. Poi, Cambiamenti nella mia vita non. Uh, la mia vita è proceduta. 
Well, some people, they, uh, the pandemic brought a lot of uh, ideas, and the, some people working hard in the pandemic. Some people, they stopped working. I like they froze, you know? So okay. each person is reacting to the pandemic in a different way. So it's nice to hear from you. How are you reacting with the pandemic? Uh, That's uh, more. I'm not acting differently. Uh, it's always the same thing. The only thing uh, that I don't like is that we cannot have human contacts because uh, of the, the virus. So it's more difficult to uh, meet uh, people. I see. And how is the situation in Montreal with uh, people? Yeah, I mean, people going out, they are, I mean, how is the situation there now? Uh, it's it's like uh, it's kind of come back to the to normals, but uh, we have already uh, we have <clears throat> we have cases that uh, increase, but uh, the commerce uh, is starting to reopen. Do you have some plans to come back, like to come to US next year for your show in US? Uh, yes, in December I will be in uh, Red Dot Miami. If the I can go to the U.S. Uh, because uh, for for now it's uh, impossible mm -hmm. for us, but uh, I have a Red Dot uh, in Miami, and uh, that's it for today for the moment. Mm -hmm. Will be great. Yes. Um, what did you do? Got your aspirations? You know, and uh, when did you start painting? Uh, okay. Uh, may I do it in French? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, j'ai commencé uh, la peinture en 2015. Je faisais de la gouache sur papier. Et puis, uh, j'ai commencé là, uh, tout bonnement parce que uh, c'était quelque chose qui m'attirait. Mais je n'avais jamais fait de peinture avant. Euh, j'avais jamais euh, pensé que je pourrais en faire un jour et puis j'ai commencé euh, tranquillement avec euh, dans dans un endroit qui s'appelle l'atelier du geste à Montréal et puis euh, j'ai vraiment euh, aimé ça alors j'ai continué euh, dans la même veine pour euh, avec en passant à la peinture acrylique maintenant je fais juste de l'acrylique sur des toiles J'ai abandonné okay. la gouache sur, sur du papier. J'aimerais éventuellement euh, faire, euh, peut-être essayer euh, l'huile, euh, la peinture à l'huile ou quelque chose comme ça. Okay. C'est très bien ça. Formidable. Um, Renate, tell us a little bit. You can tell us in German, English, whatever you want. No, uh, I, speak I speak several language. languages, it's not a problem for me. Okay. So, right. in English would be better, but you can, you know. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yes, true. <laughs> Very good. Yes, tell us about yourself, okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm proud <laughs> to be a part of this exhibition, of this art show. Um, I consider that it's not a regular art show. It's uh, something interesting because it's not virtual. It's not like always. And what I can say... Mm, I don't know. I even don't know what to say. I'm so, so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell, us, tell, us, tell us about yourself. About uh, myself. Uber's dish. I, like you see behind me, is my artworks. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, human bodies, yeah? Yeah. And uh, it's acryl on canvas. And I hope that you enjoy this. Do you hear me? So... Do you hear me? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I hope that you I enjoy you. Yes, we can hear you. And, uh, yes, we are yeah. We are in. Yes, and I create always in, um, mm, not in one style. I don't have one style. So it's uh, always dependent of my mood. When I have romantic mood, I uh, do something like this. Yeah. When uh, I'm serious, I do something abstract. It's dependent always of my mood. Mm -hmm. 
that all <laughs> you have a beautiful yes i know you have a beautiful beautiful you saw that before you know now for us it's a wonderful it's an honor to have you and all you know with your us and uh for the new place you know the new gallery now you have the physical gallery and also you have the digital gallery and it's and I see the people the response for the audience to, for Renata's work is very good, you know, congratulations, because uh, you. you real, you know, stand. Uh, you know, tell, good. Have you put something specifically after the pandemic? What the pandemic brought to you, you know, I, 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 as an artist? Mm, nothing has changed. It's always the same. It's a... Uh, like I, I told before, my mood is always changing. For me, pandemic or not pandemic, mm. it's not a problem. <laughs> so, come <laughs> stai, Giovanni? Io, grazie. Io bene, aspetta, te lo spiego. Parla sobre seu lavoro. Giovanni, I, I saw your artworks and it's very nice. You super how you do this nice, it's, uh, uh, incredible it's incredible very nice artworks so everybody is good but you yeah, also oh, you must know this also. Actually, yes. yes erica could you please send a show that work è un viaggio onirico questo è un viaggio onirico praticamente è un questo viaggio fra il passato il presente e il futuro avvolti dal mistero in maniera surreale Quindi è qualcosa che vi trae origine dall'inconscio, un'energia che sviluppa dall'inconscio e viene fuori senza uno schema predefinito. Quindi alla fine è la tela che cattura quello che, la mie, che il mio inconscio in quel momento vuole esprimere, senza premeditazione. Anche qui, questi viaggi immaginari, questi paesaggi immaginari che sono frutto appunto della pittura e si diciamo, materializza nella tela con queste immagini che vengono catturate dalla psiche, dalla mente. E non c'è un disegno premeditato e vengono fuori in maniera non casuale, però è come se fossero tanti fotogrammi che hanno bisogno di venire fuori e essere catturati dalla tela. L'immagine praticamente è ciò che la mente eh, in quel momento vuole esprimere e sono come dei fotogrammi. Se io riuscissi a dipingere ogni istante, manderei avanti tanti fotogrammi uno dopo l'altro. Ok? Uh, Giovanni, sì. you know you have the city in the gallery. La tua vita in Italia, Giovanni? È, tranquilla, è buona, non c'è problema da me, mio zona di covid, no covid qui, poco, superato il problema del oh, covid, sì. e dopo, ormai per ora tra bene, prima qualche pericolo, prima c'era qualche pericolo del covid, adesso abbiamo superato perché abbiamo usato delle restrizioni, ci siamo diciamo, pesi con le precauzioni. Adesso però c'è qualche pericolo magari che aumenta. Io comunque sono stato sempre a dipingere e ho superato diciamo la, no, la noia, però le difficoltà sempre di me, lavorando spesso. E come sono le gallerie d'arte in Italia? In Italia oh. ehm, io penso che siano meglio a New York. Infatti mi, mi sono affidato appunto alla galleria di New York eh, perché mi piace anche eh, vedere altri panorami dire altri. Okay. Non, eh, in questo momento l'Italia non è che offra tantissimo perché mh, sia per il covid che per altri motivi I saw it yesterday in the Instagram uh, work of uh, Silvian and it's also yeah. incredible works, very nice, yeah. formidable. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I, I, I saw yours too and uh, they are also uh, formidable. Uh, 
Giovanni, as galerias, as galerias na Itália, como estão? Eh, non tanto, per ora non ho molti, in questo al periodo da quando c'è stato il Covid eh, sono rimasto un po' tagliato fuori, non c'è molto poco. Comunque io le mie ambizioni sono anche andare fuori, perché mi piace molto l'America, New York, Tiro molto a trovare un po' la strada anche per là. Guys, you have a very nice surprise. You have Ellen Oppenheim. So uh, she's going to be our hostess. Yeah, Ellen and Now, she's and a, the lead. She's our theater, we, we, okay? And the producer, and she has like a beautiful portfolio. You have no idea okay. how wonderful she is, and also very good. Uh, professional you know everybody knows that uh, Ellen, in New York. okay uh, we have a series of uh, paintings Please. oh thank you thank you uh, this is my uh, artwork uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a nice artwork <laughs> yeah for many people beauty is just a word and for me personally uh, it's it's something special yeah and uh, like ah yeah this is uh, this this is a human body uh, i like uh, a human body and his uh, also human and his body itself because uh, human is a part of the nature and nature is the ultimate beauty yeah <laughs> so yeah it's uh, it's also a human body like you see it's also part of nature. It's nice. It's wonderful. Do you have a person sitting for you when you paint? Uh, for me, it's important. That, uh, yeah, it's uh, better when I have a model because it's more easy uh, when I have a model. But uh, when I do something like now during uh, a pandemic, I use the uh, photos of from internet. Yeah so like okay. this but it, model it, is better but now it's pandemic and i don't have models <laughs> sure. it, it makes sense it's too difficult to get a model now during the pandemic right right no nobody wants to come and sit yes okay. it's true <laughs> we artists the show very awakening this is titi garelli the artist is from italy she's from torino um very beautiful very very super realistic too mm -hmm. but beautifully done yeah this alessandra Gastonia, uh, she showed different city you know she's a photographer actually she had the we had the life uh, you know with her. From she's from brazil travel around and she's photographed the city she's six Okay, South different Brazil. To South, South Brazil. Brazil. South Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. Okay. Maximo is from northeast of Brazil. Looks northeast. Right. Yeah. 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 His work is his work with uh, figurative, you know, abstract. And now this figurative, it's very. She did a very nice collection. Yeah, it's in the gallery. Yeah. From northeast, he was to enjoy us, but I uh, don't know. He has some problem, and I'm sorry for that. Letitia Messier, she had a live with us. She's uh, talking about her work. She's mixed like figurative and um, abstract. And I don't know where Ellen, if you remember when you had the show, she had a mini solo, right? Yes, yeah, she had a mini solo. Yeah, yeah so the people, the audience really likes uh, her. Yeah, her images are very gripping mm -hmm. and very realistic, and, they, and the eyes have a lot of soul. Mm -hmm. She's able to capture the personality of a person in her painting, which is very difficult to do. Yes, yeah. it's like a big challenge for her. The way, the way how she's present the, the her work, like when she's mixed hip hop art and uh, abstract, and and, uh, right? And the modern, and it's, it's something. But really also, nice. her use of color is is quite extraordinary as well. Yes. Uh huh. 
that's yeah. very much black life matters. This is yeah, very, a very timely a subject, right? Mm -hmm. so, so yes. Next, next. Uh, the last work of Leticia on the way to show. It's like uh, she showed different kind of um, the layers, you know, from the people, no only from the artwork, but from the personality, from the, you know, the uh, people she wants, she, she likes to show the, the power. From, it, from it, the almost, it almost looks like three faces of one person. You know, so the different personalities that we all have yeah. inside of ourselves. I think that's what you're trying to yes, portray. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. That's, right. And go back to black life matters. matters also right. matters. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the strongest statement. You know, she does. Uh, she's, uh, she's, it's Where is she from? Exactly. She's from Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro, oh, okay. yes. And uh, she's painting like an uh, autoral uh, self portrait, right? you know. And um, it's very good for work. It's to stand, uh, you know. This is uh, Patrick. Remember the Patrick? Patrick Curry. Curry. He's yeah. from England. Mm -hmm. Patrick is from England. He is in Monaco now. He lives between London and Monaco. And uh, he does a lot of work. And his wife is from Turkey. So they create work that is studio in Turkey, in Monaco, and London. He's an international artist. Mm -hmm. And we represent him in New York City. Uh, and the United States in general, in Brazil, South America. We did some work with Sr. So in France, in Cannes, in Singapore, and uh, in, in other parts, in Monaco. So he has a very interesting work. Can you go next? Yes, yes. next yes. Yes. Yeah, the, they have a lot of symbols, right? Yes, yeah. yeah, so and, uh, the, 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 and a lot of, to... also a lot of detail. Yes. It's, it's hard to yes. see. It, because it's a small image. Uh, yeah, but, but we showed the in Venice, right. also in Venice, last in the yes. Biennale of Venice of Art, the year last mm -hmm. year, 2019. It was very nice. He, made, uh, he brought uh, like 10 paintings there beautiful. in a gallery. It was beautiful. Yes. This is Patrick Curry also. This is another that belongs to the semi series, you know, the Patrick series. Yeah. Uh huh. Guys, uh, they don't artwork you know you can find them now in the website Aguinal artwork uh, uh, Ellen this is Aguinal. for you it's in New York oh yeah Times Square right yeah is this a photograph yes Aguinal is yeah. all his from Brazil yeah photograph. magnificent colors yeah. I have not seen yeah. such magnificent mm -hmm. colors even when I walked on 42nd Street. I could never see this. This, yeah, that <laughs> this must be real, right? It's yeah. beautiful. Yes, yeah, yes. I, was, I want to be there, even during the pandemic. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. beautiful. Just like an elder Paulo, he's from, from Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Chrysler. Empire Green. State. Yeah. Oh, Empire State. From yes. where, though? Um, from where? The the Levant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, very yes. yes, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> So like this, this looks too. like a, a a movie from the 1920s or 1930s when you saw all these beautiful New York skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, similar maybe to uh, the movie Metropolis. Yeah, yeah. those paint those photo it's print on paper. Okay, you Very have cool. you have different size, um, uh, and you can get this from. To the, the online, you know, and also you have physical group oh. and community, right? Yes. Yeah. This is a new building. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. Hudson Yard. Ah, actually, Ellen, can you, tell about, can you tell us about the Hudson Yard? Uh, a series of luxury apartment buildings in the area, uh, stores, client brand names, restaurants. Uh, the newest innovative theater in New York called The Shed. Uh, it's a brand new city that's just been created, and it probably now is the number one tourist site in New York. For, you know, for the, you guys, you know, something happened because the the gallery uh, was a big surprise, you know, for us usually. And, the beginning we feel like uh, one place and uh, we have no idea what's going on but for us you have wonderful surprise 
because uh, we start to sell during the pandemic, you know, the people from Canada and California, from Europe, they start to talk and you start to sell online. Online, right. online. online you it know. takes a longer time to close the sale online, but you have a much bigger market because now your market is a global one, which people are just coming to the gallery. The gallery gets basically a local uh, following, but online selling world is open to your work. So I think everyone has to start using it more. And I think until this pandemic is over, um, what people will be looking to online galleries to purchase art. I don't sell uh, now online because I will have uh, in Vienna now solo exhibition, uh, my personal exhibition, and I need all my artworks now for this exhibition, just because I don't sell now, in, in this moment. <laughs> and what do you think, Ellen? What do you think about the new the rave? Like, you start... You you try to reinvent ourselves, okay? Like yeah, reinvent. We reinvent all, you know, every day we're doing, you, you know? And that's very, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for us as a gallery. What do you think, what do you think about this kind of change? I don't think you have a choice. I mean, I think the world is changing. It's a new world order. And I think if you don't do new things right now, you just fall behind. There aren't a lot of other ways uh, to sell. Lots of things have been canceled. Lots of galleries are closed. Art fairs have been canceled until 2021. So the artist is still producing work and the artist still has work in their studios. So one, a working artist must get work out to the world. And if you don't get your work out to the world, you are just talking to yourself. So, and I don't think that's what the artist wants to do. Artwork is made to communicate with the world at large. You have a message and you want to get that message out. It's a good point. And uh, we, as a gallery, we've been selling more than before through the internet we are we have like several platforms asia europe united states uh and then through these e-commerce platforms we'll be able to sell and partnerships in the united states we sold to texas we sold to canada so I, you artists must be producing you know and that we are doing all the efforts to sell for now for instance what we are doing do is create a virtual platform, virtual gallery to sell your artwork. But we need your help. You need you to produce and produce something that inspiration for this time. Produce something that relates to the time we are. And then we have something new to show to the market. You know, to show old things, it's not going to, uh, you know, it's not going to impact. And people and they they will not buy. They want to buy something new, something huh? innovative. Yeah. So I think Ellen can tell us she is a dealer, so she really sells people art. Tell us. Well, I think Lois made a good point there. Uh, but I think in general there were people have experiences that relate to the pandemic. It's fine to show that work. Uh, moving forward, I think just what happened in the health. It's the way you're thinking and your creativity has been influenced by what's happened in the world right now. And I think that is going to be reflected in your work. And I think that's really what Lewis is talking about, that he wants to see activity and what new innovations are coming and how you've been impacted by the situation that we're all living in right now. Yes. How how are you thinking of selling your work moving forward? Euh, je vends présentement. J'essaie de vendre. Oui, j'essaie de vendre présentement en ligne. Et puis euh, je suis sur plusieurs sites là de, de, de vente en ligne. 
today it's a form of life and traffic very the internet it's very heavy and i think maybe we're gonna leave for the next you know next time and uh, thank you very much for everybody you know to participate thank you Giovanni. it's uh, you know honor to have you and renata and this event in our gallery and um i hope you know success you know for you yes and uh it would be great and now you have to start to work more okay to present work it's just the beginning the opening was uh today okay opening virtual opening and uh, thank you very much for this celebration yeah okay so Peace. 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 Peace.